loves welcome back to my channel so if you know me if you're an OG on this channel you know one of the reasons why we started this channel is because we love a luxury we spend so much so much on luxury but the year 2024 was a year that I had to pull myself back I, I'm not stopping luxury I'm not I'm not gonna stop buying luxury but I had to like take just a couple steps back when it comes to luxury I did buy other stuff so I have about four points that enabled me and pulled me back from buying so much luxury in 2024 apart from like things being very expensive inflation and all of that these are the four points that helped me and I think I will make another video kind of showcase like telling you guys what I was able to achieve you know when I stopped buying luxury so much luxury pieces but let's get to today's let's finish today's video if you're new here welcome back to my channel thank you so very much for clicking on this video I really really appreciate you stopping by please do not forget to like and subscribe and also leave a comment and I want to shout out to all of my colleagues that just subscribe to watch and I thank you Deepak for he's now my manager my work manager because he's the one that will go approach his, well, my colleague will be like give me a phone this is a, a famous YouTuber I'm like no I'm not famous but MMTU Deepak thank you thank you so much so let's jump into the four reasons okay I have four reasons that enable me control my spending habit especially when it comes to luxury the first one is the reason and the purpose of your purchase think about it before you give out your credit card or uh, put type in that your credit pin number or whatever or well, your credit number think about it what is the reason why you're buying this bag can you sub do you have something in your closet that will substitute for this do you necessarily need it that is what i have to go through mentally analyze it then most times i end up not buying it because i then i come up with reasons couple reasons or uh, substitute you know that I have in my collection before but sometimes I'll be like yeah I definitely need it so this is the reason so you need a reason and purpose and that helped me tremendously this year and I was able to control my spending when it comes to luxury the second one is medically handicapped and this is mostly driven by my career I work in the medical field I see sick people all the time if you're not working there you're sick so and it just got me thinking like my brain is constantly working because I'm thinking I'm like okay you love luxury so much what about if something like this happen what about tomorrow if you become medically handicapped that shoe that you bought for two thousand dollars I should not be thinking about that that is not healthy but these are thoughts that come to my mind and I'm like what about if I I cannot get up out of bed tomorrow what becomes all this loss why not just enjoy life rather than just buy multiple bags expensive bags and just keep them in your closet and just look at them I mean it's also an experience because you just admire them and they, if they're bringing you joy it's still sort of like you know a thing but these are just this just me that because it's me it's better <laughs> logically it doesn't make no sense but it is me so that is number two number three is financial which is like a big deal like with the economy being the way it is inflation happening up and down and not knowing what to eat tomorrow <laughs> are you financially capable of like doing all these things pay mortgage if you have mortgage pay car loan because most Americans have car loan, they have mortgages, uh, credit card debt, uh, student loan, and all of this. Do you want to spend $5,000 or $11,000 on a Chanel bag 
and be able, I mean, they have people who, who have money, <laughs> like literally, but financially, think about the reason why you need to add this to your collection. Does it make sense financially for you? Um, apart from it bringing joy to you, but do you know what I mean? Like, because lottery is not an investment. We need to stop telling ourselves lies because that's a big lie from the pit of hell. Okay? So, that is number four. And number f uh, number three and number four, which is the last one, that prohib me, prohibit me from, like, spending so much money this year, 2024, is one nest. Literally, what nest? After you have 100 bags, you only have two hands, 10 fingers, 10 toes, two legs, one head, one body, one nest. Are you trying to compete with the stores? Are you trying to own every bag in that that came out or in the world after that what happens that is all i just I, I ask myself that all the time like i seen okay yes we want our closet to look like chanel store we want our closet to look like um louis vuitton mind you chanel just have chanel bags but your closet have chanel have louis vuitton have Gucci have YSL have MS. Some people have like 10, 20 MS bags. Um, have a liar, have all these Barberry, all these houses. Oneness, just think about it because if you're trying to look like Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton don't have all these bags in their store. Okay, the same thing with Chanel. So that is the uh, Things I think about. These are the things I think about. I'm like, okay, slow down, Betty. Take a deep breath. Analyze yourself again. Do you really, 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 truly, truly need it, need this bag? And then my doubt either motivates me to buy it. Or just give me the reason not to buy it. So leave a comment. Let me know. Well, I have been driving you to buy these bags. Um, and what is nest? What is nest on your list? Because we always have nest. We always. Next year, I'm going to come up with a list of things I want to buy. That's just how it is. That is life for you. Okay? So, I'll go ahead and end today's video. Please leave a comment and I shall see you in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also leave a comment. Did I say that? Well, I'm saying it again. Okay. Bye-bye.